Hello my butterflies, welcome back to another video. First thing off is I am starting off by adding a clear acrylic layer onto the nail, pretending like if it's a natural nail bed. But it's just something that I have grown accustomed to doing, just adding that clear layer so whenever I do decide to change designs or anything like that, I just file down all the way down to that clear layer and you don't get to damage your natural nail bits at all. Your clients, yourself, or whatever hands you're using. <laughs> so don't forget that most of the products that I will be using in this video will be listed down below in the description box. I am using the Ulala La collection from Tones. I would definitely leave the numbers on the screen of the acrylics that I'm using or down below in the description box, just so you guys could, you know, check them out if you want to. I am using my Tammy Taylor flat brush. I think this one is a size eight or nine, I'm not sure. And the monomer that I'm using is from Harmony. This monomer kind of sets up a little bit too fast. That's why, as you can see on the actual nail, whenever I did go back and try to blend the top part, it just wouldn't let me because it had already set. Either way, I still really like this monomer. Uh, the odor is not heavy or anything like that. It's not bad, honestly. I actually like it. It doesn't give me a headache, so that's a plus. So I wanted to ask you guys, how do you guys feel with the camera view? Is it like, do you guys like it so close like this or far away like usually how I do my videos? Um, but I did run across a couple of, you know, little problems where it will come in and out of focus. So I have to see how I could fix that because I want you guys to see the process and stuff like that. So as you can see, I did use four different acrylics because I wanted to do four color acrylic ombre because I hardly ever do stuff like that on my channel. So I wanted to bring you something like this. So all the nails will be the same. The same process so as you can see whenever I am laying down the acrylic it has a very smooth consistency um, but like I said with this monomer it tends to you know set real fast so I have to work a little bit faster another thing I noticed about this acrylic is I'm not sure whether they're mixing their pigments and the acrylic correctly because you can see some of that pigments on the actual acrylic whenever I do brush it down so I was kind of like ugh, getting frustrated because of that um, because whenever you do go ahead and add a top coat and you could actually see those little pigments there but if you use it with a matte top coat you won't be able to see that at all so that's why I decided to go ahead and do these nails matte opposed to using my regular shiny top coat because I didn't want them to become visible, those little pigments on the nail. So all the nails will be the same. And of course I will show you the process of whenever I am capsulating the nails. And I'll be back.
Okay, so right here is my encapsulation process and I wanted to kind of clarify this out there. It doesn't matter how many beads you use, long as your application is really good and it cuts down your filing, that's all it matters to me personally. And of course, if you have bumps or something like that, that's why we have an e-file. But I definitely wanted to show you guys how I really encapsulate that I do take a couple of beads. I don't take two beads. It all depends as well on the length of the nail. But um, use how many beads you are comfortable with. And the acrylic that I am using is from Tammy Taylor. They're clear acrylic. And I'm just going to say this. I love, love, love this acrylic. I don't know what it is. But it's so easy to work with, especially whenever I am building my apex. Before, I used to really have a lot of problems, you know, putting my bead for my apex because it was just kind of like blend in with everything. But with this acrylic, it just makes the process even that much easier. So like you, you see right here, I am adding many, many beads until I am satisfied and have my application how I want it. So before we actually get into the process of the drawing part, I wanted to say that um, I'm right here using this dotting tool. I found it much easier to use this opposed to a liner brush. Unless you're doing some lines and stuff like that, then I would definitely say use a liner brush. But if you're just doing like color blocking, I would definitely recommend to use a dotting tool. A small dotting tool, it would definitely work and it will help speed up the process opposed to using just a liner brush. But if you're very comfortable using a liner brush, then keep using what you're comfortable with. But if you're a beginner and you just want to draw on your actual nails and stuff like that, a dotting tool does definitely help. I am using Jacqueline Acosta's white gel paint and I did kind of water it down with a base gel just to make it a little bit more fluid opposed to just going in with the full white paint or gel paint. And right here, as you can see, I am using a um, liner brush. I definitely customize this brush because it does not come like this. <laughs> But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you guys hit that little bell to get notified whenever I do upload new videos. Oh, and another thing I, I wanted to say is I did draw all the fingernails just like this. Like this. Hand drawn. All of them. <laughs> so I'll see you guys until next time. Bye.